Hi everyone, I have a quick message that the Lord is stirring up in my spirit right now. I release everything into his hands and I pray that this message blesses whoever is watching. It uh, seems to me that this is a timely message and many people will understand exactly what the Lord is doing in their lives. I had a vision of someone with great force turning something upward. It looked like there had been a house or some kind of structure that was laying flat, not upright. And it looked like someone was pushing it up, lifting with all their force this thing. And the Lord was giving me the message that he is flipping the house around. So I didn't quite know where he was going, but I knew instantly that with this strength, it reminded me of Samson. In Judges chapter 16, Samson is asking the Lord for strength. And he's saying, can the Lord strengthen him so that he can with one blow take vengeance on the Philistines for the sake of his eyes because they had damaged his eyes. Now this message is not pertaining to vengeance in particular or enemies that we wrestle and of, of course that's not against flesh and blood. The Lord is not directing me to go in that uh, area of, of vengeance and kind of fighting back but he is showing me redemption. He is showing me that as he lifts up the things that were torn apart, as he lifts things with that strength, he is doing the same thing, that same type of movement of, of one blow and that's really the emphasis. He's doing something in one big push. He's lifting things up from their corrupted state. And this pertains to not just little circumstances around your life, but it, the root of the matter, the heart of the matter. Some people have been praying and trying to focus on surviving, keeping their head above the water, but not necessarily knowing even what's the root of the matter. What is the cause of all this? Is it because of witchcraft? Is it because of something that I'm doing wrong? Is it because of X, Y, and Z? And so because of this lack of knowledge, there is a blindness that the Lord is saving us from. And as he lifts the situation up, the Lord is showing me that it will be revealed what exactly it is that has caused this. There's going to be something that has been hidden. And the Lord is saying that with sight restored, spiritual sight and awareness, with the wisdom that he is restoring for his people, there will also be the revelation of true value that God has instilled in you. Sometimes when we don't see correctly, there is some kind of cloudiness over our lives. We don't really understand what's the cause, but nonetheless, it's not allowing us to see the value that the Lord has placed in us and around us. And so there's so much to be grateful for, but because of the circumstances that we are walking in, people are not always able to have gratitude and, and give God thanks because they don't quite understand what they are stepping on. They don't quite understand that there is gold underneath their feet. They don't quite understand that the situation which looks damaged and destroyed actually is covering so much value that the the Lord has placed in your life, your purpose. And so along with this, I mentioned that God is flipping houses because of the vision, but he also had me pause on that. And I looked at what it means to flip houses. Now that's a term when you buy a house, someone who's investing will buy a house that is low cost and will repair it, will restore it, will make it pretty, will do all that it has to do so that they can sell it again and have a higher profit. And so the Lord was pointing at this specific meaning as well. He was showing me that it's about him taking his people who have been broken, who have been oppressed, his people who have been uh, seemingly at a low value, and he is restoring them, he is building them up again, and putting them on the market, not so that they can be sold away from his will, but in fact so that they can produce more fruit for his glory. He's renewing and restructuring people People so that the houses, these vessels of his, will be well functioning. They will be perfectly aligned with his will. They will be standing upright. They will be in his righteousness. They will be aligned with his spirit. It is not a time to doubt, says the Lord. The Lord is showing me right now that many people have figured, man, my life is just done. And he's saying that's not the case because with one blow, he is able to turn the situation around. It's not that he's turning the house upside down, but he's turning it downside up. Up. He's turning it finally for the betterment of, of your ability to function and flow and live according to his will. Some people are going to be experiencing what it's like to have a land flowing with milk and honey. Yes, on this earth, he says, because by the spirit, he's able to quicken life out of what you do, out of what you speak. And the Lord is saying to be ready because there's people who have been so used to laying down. There's people who have been so used to being disabled or incapable of doing things 
people who have been looking at their lives and saying, I'm not able to do this, not me, maybe someone else. And the Lord is saying, get ready to be standing up. He's giving people ease so that they're able to live a better life. It's not always small circumstances that are the issue. It's not always the things that we see that are the issue, but the Lord is lifting us back up so that we're able to see, wow, this actually does have value. The only issue was that I was down and that the Lord needed to lift me up. And so with that restoration comes joy. With that restoration comes life. With that restoration comes happiness and the Lord is giving people peace. And that is what he says because he is a prince of peace. He's a prince of peace. And we can't forget about that, that even though things don't seem like it could actually be that way, the Lord sure is the same Lord as he was yesterday, he is the same Lord today and he will always be that Lord tomorrow. For those who believe in him, trust in him and obey him, the Lord has not forgotten you. So whatever it is that the Lord is speaking through this message, I pray that you just hearken unto it, that you hold on to it and, and take it into prayer and go back to him and ask the Lord what it is that he is doing and what it is that he is uh, revealing to you and just open your eyes in the name of Jesus so that you may see what you have been sleeping on, so that you're not sleeping on yourself, so that you're not forgetting about the things that God God has to do in you and the value that the Lord says you have according to his will and it's not for your profit but so that you can produce greatly for his name's sake in Jesus name I pray that his will continues to unfold for everyone watching for everyone in this ministry and that the Lord may continue to bless you in Jesus name have a wonderful evening